Hello everyone and welcome to my add-on guide for endgame PvE and somewhat PvP. We're gonna keep this video short and sweet. Uh, let's get started. So really quickly to go over all the add-ons that I have just at a first glance for the people who don't want to watch the whole video. Here are all the add-ons that I currently have installed. You can see all the add-ons here on this list as well as all the libraries. Now the libraries you don't have to worry about too much because they'll be downloaded right away after your add-on. They'll show you what libraries they need, which each add-on needs, and you'll be forced to download them anyway. Let's get started. So Action Ratio Miner is the first add-on the list. That's just gonna keep track of everything that goes on on the bottom of your bar. It's gonna track uh, the timers of all your buffs and debuffs at the bottom of your screen right on your bar. Next add-on is Assist Rapid Writing. Whenever you mount, it gives you the option to automatically turn on uh, Rapids. That way you don't have to worry about manually switching skills to put on Rapids on your bar every single time you mount. And then it changes it right back to the skill that you had before. Asylum Centaurium Status Panel is Asylum related as well as Asylum Tracker. Those are really nice add-ons to have in Asylum Centaurium when your group or yourself are pushing Asylum. Uh, they do help with different boss timers, timer mechanics, things like that. So if you're using, uh, if you're doing Asylum Sanctorium, definitely download these two add-ons. Auto recharge, self-explanatory, it auto recharges your weapons, it auto repairs your armor, so you don't have to do it manually during the fight. It also does it mid-combat, wherever, whenever, you can put different thresholds, so a really nice add-on. Azura is, in my opinion, the best UI add-on that you can use. It works like this, you click unlock all UI windows, you can move literally everything around on your screen and then lock it afterwards to save your UI looking really, really nice. BR Helper is a Black Rose Prison add-on by Andy S. Whenever you're doing Black Rose, install this, use it. It's gonna show you spawns, it's gonna show you where everything is, it's gonna show you different timers for mechanics. Really nice add-on to have. BSC's Advanced Synergy. This is one of my favorite add-ons for trials because you can turn on different synergies that you want to use. So if you want to use, if you want to not go down in Cloud Rise backs, then you just turn off the synergy. Same with Sunspire Kinds. Uh, it also allows you to turn on and off different things like Energy Orb if you want to save your cooldowns for Mystic Orb, because they do share the same cooldown. Uh, it also has a way of tracking tracking Slayer, Alkosh, resources, and other things. But I usually, I mainly use it for the synergies. Bug Eater stops your UI from getting a thousand UI errors, so I think this is a must-have for everyone. Uh, champion Point Respec. When you, whenever you respec your champion points, you have the option to save. Like I have this raid CP, uh, you have the option to save the CP that you just uh, made, or you have the option to load CP quickly. Uh, it does use 3K, but whatever CP you choose, you just choose whatever CP you want. Load, save, delete, whatever you want to do. Uh, that way you don't have to do it manually every single time. Next add-on is Clutch. Now, if you ever had a bug where you can't light attack because you just swapped bars and you just swapped swaps from Maelstrom, this happens a lot. Uh, I do recommend getting Clutch. That's gonna save that uh, staff swapping issue and not being able to light attack. Codes Combat Alerts, one of the best raid add-ons. Show you how to avoid heavy attacks. Shows you how to avoid mechanics. It shows you a nice timer bar to uh, avoid those exactly at the right time. So this is a must have for any raider in my opinion. Combat Metrics, this is a really nice add-on that's gonna show you your in-fight stat window. You see it at the bottom of the screen here, you can adjust it, you can make it uh, higher opacity, lower opacity. It also gives you this fight tracking window to show you DPS, healing done, damage received, healing received, so on and so forth. It also has a combat log, fight stats, uh, a lot of really useful information for every single fight that you do. Moving on is Combat Metronome. Now this is a global cooldown tracker. As you can see right underneath uh, the Blazing Spear icon, whenever I cast an ability, there's a yellow bar that turns into a red bar. Uh, whenever that red bar is, means that you can now light attack into the next skill. While it's yellow, that means you're still on global cooldown. So if you're missing a lot of light attacks and you need a little bit of help in that, download uh, Combat Metronome. It's really, really nice. Constellations is when I open up combat metrics window. It shows me all of my champion points and how they affect all the modifiers. So that's just an extra little thing to have uh, to 
to further add to your knowledge. Cooldowns is the next add-on. Whenever you have a skill that has a cooldown and a proc, for example, Acuity in my case, this little icon pops up and you can adjust the icon, move it wherever you want. Uh, once your Acuity procs, it's going to show you the cooldown and numbers uh, for the next proc as well. And it works for Yolnacrin, Olorme, pretty much any single proc set that you have in the game. Next is the dark UI. This just makes my UI look a little darker than the base UI. Uh, I do prefer this over all the other UIs. It makes my skill window look a little darker, things like that. So most end game raiders do use that. Just make sure UI looks slick. Dressing room. This is one of the most important add-ons and a must have for every single raider because this opens up this window right here and you can change your gear setups and your skills in one click of a button. So. Whenever you have a boss fight, a specific boss fight, just click that button. You can also assign it to hotkeys. So even out of the window, I can change my skills, my gear, just by pressing one button. Fix stuck audio. Now there's a bug in Sunspire where the dragons keep screaming at you. You bind a keybind to fix stuck audio and it turns off and on your sound which gets rid of the breath. So if you're tired of hearing the dragon scream at you, very simple. Next, Grim Focus Counter. This is a Nightblade add-on that tracks your Merciless Resolve and your Relentless procs. Uh, so it'll show you when you get up to five and you can use your bow. This is a really nice add-on to use when you're trying to get your light attack into a bow combo on your Nightblades. Halls of Fabrication is again a trial specific add-on. Use this whenever you go into halls. It shows boss bars, it shows the different mechanic timers uh, and other stuff that you kind of need to have. Uh, Harvin's improved skill window. This just adds a little bit more detail to all of our skills. You can see the uh, both of the morphs. You can see the effects on all the morphs. You can turn on and off the skill progression and the uh, skill detail. You can customize this and it shows how much experience each one needs and the bar for your experience. Harvest map is good for anyone who's farming nodes. It'll show you where all the nodes are, shows you exactly where to farm them. So this is a must have if you're farming some mats and things like that. Hide group, this is a really nice add-on. If you type in exclamation mark hide group one, it's gonna hide all of your group, your pets. So you're just gonna see your character on your screen. Then you type in hide group zero and open up your crown crates and it's gonna turn the group back on. So you'll be able to see all the pets, all the group. Uh, this helps me just see my character a little better, see the character animations a little better and hides all the maws, the pets uh, that I really don't wanna see while I'm in combat. Hodor reflexes, this is a must have for raiders. What Hodor does is it shows you the damage of your group. It shows you war horns, it shows you Colossus. You can move all that stuff around it is a must-have for raid lead, and uh, personally, I think that everyone should have it just to track your group's progress. How to Sunspire. This is a really nice add-on for Sunspire by Flo Leroy. Uh, it shows a lot of the uh, mechanics, the boss timings, the mechanic timers. Uh, so I do recommend when you're going into Sunspire, definitely use this add-on. It's going to help your group tremendously. Inventory Insight. You can click one button, look for any single piece of equipment. For example, false gods, and you can see all the false gods that I have in all my characters. It'll show you what character has it, uh, and exactly what trait and what item it is. So that's a really nice add-on to have. Geo group. I prefer using this group frame add-on. It is one of my favorite because it does look very simple, very clean. But you can adjust this to look pretty much any how you want. You can change the colors. You can change the at names. You can change them to character names. You can add more things such as showing health values, food buffs, regen arrows, if somebody's getting healed or not, uh, showing default group frames. So whatever you want, you can definitely adjust this to your liking. It has a ton of options. Next add-on, Lilith's Group Manager. This is very important for raids uh, and raid leads in general because one, it's gonna show you, it's gonna turn the auto invite on so people just have to X you in a whisper or wherever you choose to to get invited, you don't have to invite them manually. Secondly, you can make a whole group and just invite them with one click. And third, and probably the most important one, 
you can see how many times people die and what causes those deaths exactly. So I do recommend LGM for any raid lead or any raider in general. Loot log shows whatever loot your group gets. So if you're trying to spy on people's loot, definitely get this add on. Map pins is just uh, an addition. It shows you lore books, sky shards, whether you got them or not, shows you hidden things on the map. So just a nice addition to see the map better. Next, we have martial knowledge. Now this is again a set specific add-on. Whenever you're wearing martial knowledge, this is gonna help you keep track of your stamina, your martial knowledge cooldown. So if you are using martial knowledge for healers or DDs in a group, uh, definitely get this add-on, it's by NDS. Medusa is another raid specific add-on. It shows you a bunch of uh, different raid mechanics, boss timers, mechanic timers, uh, this is a really nice addition for Sunspire as well, so I do recommend when you go into Sunspire, definitely use this as like really cool bars to show you breath, beam, things like that. Next, Miat CC Tracker. This is a small icon that tracks when you get CC'd or staggered or uh, snared or whatever it is, so definitely get this. It's really useful for PvP and PvE. Uh, Minimap. This does tank your frames a little bit. However, I do really like using it just all the time in general because uh, this helps me see if anyone that group is lagging behind if we're ready to pull the boss if everybody's in position if everybody's stacked on crown just simple things like that, that i have to keep track of as a raid lead so this is a really nice add-on and it does help tremendously with convenience you can also zoom out zoom in a ton of options after the minimap we have no thank you this just blocks unwanted messages spam it blocks guild invites that you don't really want or need. Uh, Pchat is an addition to your chat. It has a ton of add-ons uh, and settings to make your chat look cleaner, timers, if you wanna see character and at names, things like that. Perfect Pixel is why the whole UI looks the way it does. You see like a nice sleek black window, see-through and it fits a lot more stuff so i do recommend everybody uses perfect pixels way better than the base game ui pet health is something for wardens and sorks to keep track of your pet health if your pet dies you have to resummon it obviously i don't use it on a templar quick destroy you bind a button instead of typing in the capital destroy word you can just click a button and it destroys the item for you in one click rgb aoe this is a really fun add-on uh, and it helps you see the ground AOEs so you don't have to stand in any uh, negative effects. You enable this, you turn on turbo mode, and you literally have a light show under your feet all the time. It's very easy to see all the AOEs. I do recommend everybody uses this. Radificator shows your the time of your run. It shows the vitality of your run in a small window. Uh, just a little bit of a convenience. Raid Notifier is a must-have. It shows uh, a ton of stuff for raiders mechanics heavy attacks things like that so if you're raiding raid notifier is a must-have roaring opportunist is another set specific add-on now anyone that has roaring opportunist on they're going to track their cooldown they're going to see when it procs off of the heavy attack so if you're wearing the set definitely highly recommend this uh, Srendar is one of the best add-ons for tracking buffs and debuffs and it has a ton of options so as you can see when I cast any ability right next to my character there you see Blazing Spear, Unstable Wall, Mystic Orb, Ritual and again this has a ton of different options and settings it takes a little bit of time to set up but once you set it up correctly you can move stuff around, filter stuff out, filter stuff in it's one of the best add-ons for tracking uh, that's really going to help with your damage Shadow image range is something that I use when I'm PvPing on a Nightblade. This is going to show how far your shadow image is. This is going to show how much time you have left on your shadow image and it's made by NDS. It's a really nice add-on if you're Nightblade PvPing. Speedrun. This is a really nice add-on for when you're doing different speedruns or you're pushing score. It makes a little UI wherever you place it and it shows you your best splits for every single fight in Trials and uh, DMA. So if you're doing speedruns, definitely get this add-on so you can track your progress. Stagger Tracker is an add-on made for tanks by NDS. You can keep the times three stagger at the best uptime by keeping track of it. So I do recommend all tanks that are using Stonefist to keep Stagger Tracker on. 
Superstar is a really nice option for you to see the build. So you type in exclamation mark Superstar, and boom, your Superstar comes up with all of the details on your build. So if everybody's asking, hey, dude, what's your build? Hey, what are you doing with this uh, Templar? There is the build, all in one. Done. Next, we have Thracian. It's going to show you the Thracian icon on the bottom left or wherever you want to place it. And it can also work together with Hodor Reflexes to show your whole group for, uh, stacks for Thracian. So this is a nice add-on to have if you want to track Thracian. However, it's not very useful. But it is cool to have. Untaunted is amazing for tanks. It shows what you have taunted, how long you have it taunted for. Uh, just a basic add-on that really is a must-have for tanking. Ulrich Skill Point Finder. Uh, one click of a button and it shows you what skills you've gotten and the red shows you what skills you can still get. What will give you more skills on the character you currently are on. Next is Votan's Keybinder. If you're tired of setting keybinds for every single character, download this. You take the box and it will save the keybind for every single character that you have on your account. And last but not least, one of my new favorite add-ons, XL Gear Banker made by XL Olsen, who's a really good friend uh, of mine. The way it works is like this. You make a preset and anywhere you can deposit or withdraw items, whether it be a bank or a storage coffer at your house, you make a preset with XL Gear Banker. For example, I have a VMA preset on right now. I press one button and it deposits all of the VMA gear that I have on that character. Another press of a button and it withdraws the same gear all in one press of a button. So it's really, really amazing. Big shout out to XL also for showing me and making this add-on. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it for all the add-ons. I do believe if you use all of these add-ons, it's gonna really make your end game gaming experience that much better. I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget if you have any questions, concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, my name is RNC. Hopefully this helps you out and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.